Welcome to this video tutorial.net's course on SolidWorks and working with sheet metal. In this first lesson, we're going to learn about creating a base flange. But first, I want to talk about the concept of sheet metal. What is sheet metal? You can think about sheet metal as a thin solid with a constant thickness value. The sheet metal set of tools come on a tab, so let's right click on any tab and select sheet metal to make it a visible tab. You can also access the sheet metal tools via insert on the main menu. Scroll to sheet metal. And here's our sheet metal tools. Let's go to the sheet metal tab. As you can see here, most of my tools are grayed out. Let's begin with the base flange, which is not grayed out. The base flange is a sketch-based feature, so our first step is to create a sketch that we can use to model the part. I'll right-click on the front plane and select Sketch. I'm going to activate the Line command, and we'll just place a few lines, create an open profile. Now let's apply some dimensions. 50 millimeters here and 40 millimeters for this line, 60 millimeters for my third line. Let's place an angle dimension, 135 degrees, and I'm ready to exit the sketch. Now let's activate the base flange tool. Some of the options here in the Property Manager you'll recognize from the Extrude command. For example, Directions 1 and the option of a Direction 2 as well. Let's use a Distance value, Depth, of 20 millimeters. Next are Sheet Metal parameters. Here we can specify the Thickness parameter as well as the Bend Radius. We've also got the option to create the solid inside or outside the sketch by checking the Reverse Direction checkbox. In the next section, we control Bend Allowance in one of five ways, and they're listed in this drop-down menu. We've got Bend Table, K-Factor, Bend Allowance, Bend Deduction, and Bend Calculation. For this video, I'm going to use the K-Factor option. In the next section in this Property Manager is where we control Auto Relief. In older versions of SolidWorks, you might remember this was called Bend Relief. So the Bend Relief is a small cut in the body of the sheet metal that allows the sheet metal part to bend correctly. We've got three options for the auto relief. They are rectangular, tear, or aub round. I'll be looking at this section in more detail later on in this course. For now, let's select the rectangular option. The last control area I'm going to talk about now manages the gauge tables. If we check here, we're able to select a gauge table from this drop down menu or we can browse for a gauge table on our hard drive. When the gauge table is selected, the parameters like thickness and bend radius and bend allowance, etc., are determined by the table. However, we do have the option to override the options that are specified in the table if we need to just check the Override Thickness box here. I'm going to uncheck Use Gauge Table, and under Bend Allowance, let's switch to K-Factor. I'll set a thickness of 1 millimeter, and a bend radius of 2 millimeters. Press Tab to register and click OK. So here's our new base flange feature in the SolidWorks Feature Manager design tree. If I click on the plus sign, I can expand it, and let's check out what we've got in there. 
If we want to edit the feature, we just right click on it and select Edit Feature. Here's the Property Manager again. Here we can override parameters like depth and thickness, band radius. And let's cancel out by clicking on the red X. A new icon that we have here is the sheet metal placeholder. Let's right click on this and select Edit Feature. Here we can edit parameters that apply to the entire sheet metal part. So for example, we can set a default bend radius. Let's cancel out of this property manager. Another new icon is the flat pattern feature. Notice that this feature is currently suppressed. If we right click, we can unsuppress it. And so now we see how our part looks in a flattened state. Notice that in the flat pattern feature, we've got the flattened base bends 1 and 2. I'm able to suppress and unsuppress each individual feature. Now once I suppress the flat pattern feature, we go back to our folded part. We can also create multi-body sheet metal parts. Let's right-click on our top plane, select Sketch. I'm going to create a rectangle right here. It's a closed profile. And let's just exit the sketch. Activate the Base Flange tool. Under Sheet Metal Parameters, ensure that Merge Result is unchecked. And let's just click OK. Now, as I mentioned, the first profile that I created was an open profile. The second profile, the rectangle, was a closed profile. And since, in the second case, I have a closed contour, I ended up with a flat sheet. Let's take a look at the Feature Manager design tree now. And see what we've got here. There's a second sheet metal placeholder added now, as well as a second flat pattern feature. This concludes my first tutorial about SolidWorks Sheet Metal Environment. We'll see you back in our next video.